Hi, I'm Paul from PDH Sports, leading online racket specialist, and today I've got Laura Massaro, former world number one world champion, uh, with me today. And Laura's going to do uh, a full review for us on the brand new head uh, speed 135 360 graphene squash rackets. These rackets, you've got them already, but these are going to be available on our PDH Sports uh, website from June. Um, first of all, um, you recently switched to the teardrop shape. Um, what was your thinking behind uh, going to the teardrop from the sort of the Zenon range? Uh, yeah, well, I, I've uh, played with the Zenon the majority um, of, of my head time. Um, absolutely loved the racket, loved um, the feel, and it suited my game. Um, but just a season and a half ago, decided that you know, the way the women's game was going, um, the subtleties involved, the speed around the middle, just that I needed a little bit more control. Uh, I thought that the open racket uh, shape, the open throat racket shape would, would suit that and um, tried to build a little bit of improvement around my game basically by, by switching rackets over from the closed throat to the open throat racket. Excellent, so, and also, um these rackets will come with a normal sort of traditional stringing pattern. You've, uh, they also allow you to sort of adapt the stringing pattern and you've gone for the favoured uh, fan stringing pattern. Yeah. So that's just gives a little bit of an insight why that is. Yeah, well, um, it's a brilliant feature of, uh, of this head racket, the fact that it has the adaptive fan pattern. So it means that you can string it up, you know, any, uh, the normal way uh, without the fan, the fan shape. For me personally, coming from the closed throat racket, um, needed to have just a little bit more string in the in the frame of the racket, um, just to come in line with what I was used to from the Zenon. Um, so decided to go for the fan fan shape pattern. Obviously, puts a lot more string in the racket, makes the gaps between strings a little bit smaller. Um, I do, however, use a really thin string, so that um, that helps with obviously the gap's not being too small. So, you know, for your regular player, I'd be thinking that you'd probably be best going for a thicker string, a little bit more durability with the string, um, and then you, you would, could, could easily go with the normal string pattern then. Uh, but for me personally, this, this works really well. Excellent, right, so um, should we take this on court and uh, you can give us some feedback as you're hitting some balls? Yeah, sure. Okay. So yeah, with the, uh, the new Speed 135, what I'm feeling when, when I hit the ball is, you know, a real control, real balance that you get through the, um, the open-throated racket, real control, nice balance through the whole racket, from the handle right through to the, to the head of the racket. And with the, uh, the new 360 graphene that this racket has, it really feels like there's a little bit more control, a little bit more stability through the head of the racket. It means that the graphene's now in the head of the racket. And when you get on contact and after contact, it feels like the racket is really stable on the ball, making sure that the ball has that little bit more control off the strings and off the racket. Yeah, so as with the, uh, the drive, similar sort of feel when you're on, onto the drop. The racket head um, really feels like it has that control through the drop shot. The balance, meaning that you know, the, the ball gets through the air really quickly, the racket gets through a little bit like hot knife through butter because the racket head is really flying through the ball. And it just gives you that little bit of control when you're going in short. And then when you want to get the power as well, you really can, you know, mix it up and really feel that, that stability on the racket on both shots that you're after a bit of control and the shots that you're after a little bit of power as well. Yeah, so just when you're, uh, you know, the feel of this racket on the volley as well, really got, um, Good manipulation of the racket head around the middle, that ability on balls like that that come at you a little bit more, really throw the racket head away, get it up early, bit of deception, bit of control over the racket head, 
And that's exactly what, what you're looking for when you're playing a quick player around the middle. Control on the length and then control on the power as well. Okay, right, so just back now from Laura hitting with that and um, thank you. So thanks for giving us your insight into the racket. You're clearly very happy with this racket um, and you're looking forward to some more wins this coming season. Yep, I uh, absolutely love this racket. Can't recommend it um, enough to everybody watching. Um, love, as I said before, the fact that Header at the forefront of you know technological improvements within rackets and um, even the difference between um, the last model and the, the current speed model. I can really feel the difference. So um, yeah, looking forward to seeing more people playing with it and hearing what everyone thinks about it. Excellent. So yeah, so these rackets, the, the new 360 speed range, it's going to be available June time from PDH Sports. But I'm, I'm really into the new colorway. Um, that was my first little feel with it and uh, yeah, I'm excited to try these and uh, thank you again Laura for your time today.